So I saw this post on Instagram, which was freaking hilarious. And <laughs> which was funny as hell. And then, you know, it's so it's it's funny because I saw an uh, extreme blood like extreme bully bloodlines, right? When when you know this dude, he's got some badass Frenchies as well. I haven't collabed with him yet, but maybe possibly in the future I I will. But you know, as of me right now, I'm happy with mine. I think I am fine with my yard for now you know it's it's been pretty good so you know since i already paid a lot you know i might as well make something out of it you know i just can't stop you know reaching out to other bloodlines as well you know you, you have to create a consistent bloodline in your yard and then you can claim that own bloodline but anyway this is the post that i saw from extreme bully bloodlines which was hilarious to sell so it shows this picture of a uh, of a gorilla and this is uh, what he says so so he says, I hope y'all do your research and not rely on Photoshop pics when purchasing a Gorilla Frenchie. So you will end up getting that one that looked like this as your pup grows up. <laughs> At least this motherfucker has a short back. LOL. Happy Gorilla French Day. So yeah, uh, happy Frenchie Friday, you guys. But yeah, this, this post right here was just funny as hell. And... It's true, you know, everything that he says is true in this picture. You know, there's people out there that do Photoshop pics and it's just like modeling, you know, Instagram fitness models or just fitness models in general. You know, everything about it, not everything, but it's just, it's, it's not authentic, it's fake. You know, it's Photoshop, it's made to look like that and that's the same way that it goes with dogs as well. You know, and it's, you know, maybe you wanna, you know, make the shoulders look bigger in your dog or on yourself as a human or you want to make his head just look bigger and pop out more maybe change the filter or the color the color grading and stuff like that to make the most like to make the muscles more dense and popped out you know it's just the way promoting your dogs is which is why i don't do that shit you know which is why i always facetime you guys or you know, just seeing you guys raw quality footage. And people always ask me all the time, hey, when are you gonna, you know, do professional pictures of your dogs or stuff like that? I was like, dude, I, I don't need to yet. I, I don't need to. I really don't need to. Because cause the response that I always get, you know, when people always wanna FaceTime me, and that's not, it's not that they're being nicer at all. You know, it's just, you know, when people see my dogs in real life or on FaceTime, you already know you're getting a good quality dog. You know, just just look at this raw quality footage that I show you know, my son Roach, man, or Toxic. You know, just full on muscle, just big, you know, Toxic. You know, he's lean and strong and muscular. You know, he's got like the Dorito shaped body as a human. You know, he's big in the front, but man, he is slim on the waist. You know, I, I don't feed my dogs a lot, you guys. You know, I only feed them once a day. I don't feed them all that extra, you know, supplement bullshit and stuff like that or work them out. No, that's just how they are naturally. And that's just the way they look. You know, I only feed them once a day. You know, imagine if I, you know, if I feed them maybe twice a day and then, you know, working them out, like working them out at the same time, you know, it just... It's just, I just don't do that, man. Me, you guys, I, I'm a laid back dude, man. I, I don't like doing all that shit. You know, I like to just chill, you know, just fucking, you know, just make them my lap dogs, man. I'm a fucking lazy person, you know? When I work out, right? When I when I want to work out, you know, I used to work out a lot. You know, I, I hate doing that shit. You know, I, I hated it. But it, it's it's what changed me to be better and you know, get out of my comfort zone. You know, it's just like this. Get out of my comfort zone to be better. So that that's that's pretty much it, you know, when it, when it comes with why I always, you know, FaceTime you guys. You know, I always feel free. I was I I'm always down to FaceTime. And you guys, you know, when when I know that, you know, in the future if I was to ever die, I just know I will always be the realest, you know, for you guys. I will always want to be, you know, the you know, the realest person to you guys on a personal level and not just on a dog or business or brand label or maybe just being a YouTuber. No, I always want to be with you guys, you know, to know you guys at a personal level, you know, what you guys are going through or maybe you got some puppies die, you know, and or dying and you know having problems or your puppies or dogs are having problems and I always want to be there to help you guys as much as I can but you know it, it's it's crazy to think about that now because you know this is just the beginning of my channel and you know I already had so much success you know even though it's only like 
350 subscribers or somewhere near that. You know, it's it's it may not seem much, but think about it. You know, just the word of mouth that people that don't use YouTube or you know subscribe and stuff like that already contact you. So man, it, it is crazy. So it it's been a hell of a ride, man. And and uh, you know, it's it's even made me more like humble about it, man. Just I always that's just. I always want to be real with you guys, and that's just the way that I present my brand. Ask me to like text me, or you know, ask me, you know, my studs available, or if I have any puppies available, or who are the parents are. You know, I'll always show you guys the professional photos, but at the same time, I'll always show you guys the raw quality footage of my dogs and my puppies, and FaceTime as well, guys. I am always down FaceTime, and people call me or people FaceTime me on how to two feet or want to see my dogs and. You know, people that are serious about it, you know, only serious inquiries about it, you know, then I'll be, be able to down to FaceTime, you know, and stuff like that. So it, it's just crazy, man, you know, how, you know, in the world I live in today, you know, Photoshop is just, it's just really why no one accept it now. So which is why, you know, when it comes with, you know, doing a stud service or buying a dog or a puppy, you always want to see the, the dog in real life. You always want to see them in real life to see, you know, what it's all about pretty much. And yeah, that's uh, you know it's it's crazy because I I got a story with pretty much, um, you know when I was uh, wanting to do a stud service and dude this motherfucker man I'm not gonna show the picture you know because I don't want to diminish him or at all but you know when I saw this motherfucker you know this this picture you know this this dog this male you know he's all you know shoulders all big and everything big ass head you know stanced up you know. And, it's that's what you call a fucking gorilla, you know. That's that's what the the term is, you know. A fucking gorilla, you know. This dude's motherfucking badass, and you know, big ass rear, big ass legs, and everything, you know. Good ass, you know, proportion muzzle, smash ass face, everything, everything is all good. I asked this person, you know, hey, you know, I just want to see a picture, or, you know, you'd be down to Facetime, you know, and I just say, you know, hey, I want the raw quality footage of your dog, and I want that Photoshop. You know nonsense. You know, you know that bullshit. I didn't say that, but you know, in a way, in my head, that's what I'm saying. You know, and send me the dog, send me the picture of the dog, video of the dog. I'm like, all right, man, this ain't it, man. This motherfucker lanky, bro. This dog is not even as good as my dog. <laughs> so you know, it's it's crazy because I wanted to get in the Merle game. I just ended up not getting it, but uh, I do might be having to look into a Merle guy. Uh, up in New Jersey, he actually, uh, his brother actually bought a female off from me uh, not too long ago, like a couple weeks ago. So yeah, uh, I'm about to do some business with him in the future when it comes down with it. And uh, yeah, just uh, a little collab right there. But yeah, that's guys, that's the reason why I always FaceTime and you guys and I always send raw quality photos of my dogs. And that is just about my brand. All right guys, peace.